Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you are ready to start this Thursday off. Kick it off with a bang. I already know that you have thanked the Lord for waking you up for this day. Because again, as I say every single day, uh, we were not promised this day. We uh, didn't have any uh, authority on this day. So the fact that we are here inhaling and exhaling is because the Lord decided that he was going to allow us to see this day. So listen, today's topic of discussion is, is this from God? How many times have you um, gotten an idea? A thought came through your mind and you took a step back and said, hmm, is this from God? Is this from Satan or is these my own thoughts? Have you ever questioned a thought that came through your mind and wanted to know, listen, is this from God? Because, of course, if we know it's from God and we've been talking about hearing from God, the next thing we want to do is obey it. However, if it's not from the Lord and it's from Satan, then we know we want to stay far away from carrying out that idea or that thought because it is not going to end well for us, right? And so it is extremely important that we know the difference and how to discern from God's voice. And again, sometimes it could be our own voice. And at times we allow our feelings and our emotions to make decisions for us. But yet we don't want to rely on our feelings and our emotions because guess what? We can start today on a high note, but by the end of the day, our emotions and, and our feelings can be on the opposite side of that. And so we don't really want to always trust our feelings and emotions because really they're fickle <laughs> they are fickle they uh they go with what's going on if if the environment is happy then our emotions um and our feelings are happy but if the environment is miserable and sad then guess what our emotions and our feelings are miserable and sad and so we want to rely on our ability to hear from the lord because regardless to how we feel about it it doesn't really matter if God said it, then that settles it, right? And so a lot of times God gets blamed for some of the evil stuff we do. You, you, you hear people say, well, the Lord told me to do it. And they know good and well they ain't heard from the Lord. As a matter of fact, it didn't even make any sense, right? Um, but they say, oh, the Lord told me to do it. And then when the outcome looked crazy... Now, you didn't blame the Lord for something that you wanted to do. You wanted to do that. That was you, but you blamed it on the Lord. And so sometimes you don't want to believe the message just because someone said, well, the Lord this and the Lord that. No, you want to take that and have something to compare it with. So how do you test if, if a message or a thought or an idea is from the Lord. Well, the first thing that you want to do is, does it um, agree with the Bible? Does what's going on in your thoughts, what's going in your head, what's going on in your mind, does it agree with God's written word? And the reason I say that because God's will will never contradict God's word. Let me say that again. God's will will never contradict his words. So if you have an idea in your head and it goes against what God has written in his Bible, then I'm here to tell you that's not God. Because his command or his will is not going to go against his written word. God doesn't say one thing and then changes his mind later. He doesn't say that, you know, if he said it, then it's true. If he said it, then it's true. So if you have something in your head, a thought in your mind, and it contradicts the written word of the Lord, then I'm here to tell you it's not from the Lord. Okay. The second thing is God is consistent. So God isn't moody. You know, sometimes we get moody, but God isn't moody. We may be moody, but God isn't moody. Again, he doesn't change his mind. He doesn't say today, 
this is how it's going to be. And then tomorrow say, oh, oh, no, never mind, never mind. It's going to be this way. And then the next day say, well, you know what? That don't, no, never mind. It's not going to be that way either. God is not like that. He is consistent. He's not moody. He's never going to tell you to violate a principle that he has already established. God is not going to tell you to violate a principle that he's already established in his word. So again, how do you test if the idea or thought that you have in your head is from God? One, does it align itself up with the written word of God? Because his will is not going to contradict his word. Then the second thing is God is consistent. And so therefore, he's not going to tell you to do anything that violate a principle that he's already written in his word. So whether it was 5,000 years ago, 1,000 years ago, or yesterday, Yesterday, his principle remains the same. So if what is in your head violates one of God's principles, then I'm here to tell you it's not from the Lord. So here's the thing. First, you got to ask yourself this question. Does this thing that's in my head line up with the word of the Lord? Does it agree with something that he has already said? If what's in your mind contradicts, what God has already said, then I'm here to tell you that the idea is not from the Lord. Let me share something with you. Luke 21, 33, it says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. So when God says, I am the same today, yesterday, and forevermore, he means that. He means that. So God's word is eternal because truth never changes. I'm going to say that again. God's word is eternal because truth never changes. So regardless, if he said it 5,000 years ago, 1,000 years ago, or even yesterday, it's going to remain the same. It's not going to change. So if God tells you to do something, then he's never going to contradict it. Okay. If God tells you to do something, you are going to be able to align it up with his word. It's never going to contradict. And so when a thought comes to your mind, right? When then we get a lot of them all through the day, when a thought comes to your mind and you want to know if it's from God, or if it's from the devil, or if it is from you, maybe it is your own personal desire. The first question that you want to ask yourself and you want to answer is, is this idea in harmony with the word of the Lord? That's the question you want to ask yourself and you want to answer. Is this idea in harmony with the Lord? And if you don't know, then that means you need to go and seek out his word on whatever that is. And don't make a move until you know if it's from the Lord. If it's from the Lord, then he's going to make provisions for you to get that thing done. But if it's not from the Lord, then go ahead and scratch it because it is not going to work out in your favor. So that is um, our topic of discussion today. And so again, the question, is this idea from the Lord? And I'm here to say to you, ask yourself an answer. Is this idea in harmony with the Lord? Does it agree with what he's already said? Or does it contradict what he's already said? Does it violate his principles? Or is it in tune with his principle? So listen, you all go out and make this a great day. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. God bless.